Why? Both the guys running off. They, so take it off. It's all girls. Oh, nice. All right. Very nice. All girls, girls actually. In, They're all girls, yeah. Oh, yeah, <laughs> even the dogs. dogs. <laughs> Have fun, Brian. Bye, Steve. Bye. Bye. Hey, Brian, okay. congrats on the book. Yes. Amazon.com. I bought it yesterday. Did you really? Yeah. No, on, honest to God. Did you want to your iPad? Part, no, no, no. I, I bought a, I bought a hardcover right? book because I wanted to support my friend Brian Kilmeade. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. <laughs> They're good gifts too for you know you high schoolers or yeah. Holidays mm -hmm. coming up around the corner. <laughs> Honestly, I'm keeping one on each of my kids' bookshelves because they're going to learn history this way. It's, nice. It's a great fun way nice. to learn it. Okay. Another thing you can get for your kids. <laughs> did, did I she tell you call? what? Is that right? Who's her? Oh. Go ahead, Caitlin. Say it again. Bring home the black. I know. Uh -huh. Caitlin. What kind of dog is it? This is what we're thinking. It's a boxer uh, Boston mix, but she's so tiny. Caitlin, there's five brothers and sisters oh. at Animal Haven Shelter if you want to go meet them. Oh. I tell you what, this, this how, little girl What's your right other here. dog? How much does your other dog weigh? 110 pounds. Oh. Hey. Perhaps Hi, Caitlin. A you know what? I'm holding her right now, and she is so sweet. You have good instincts. She's a lovey. You I'll a think about one. it. I want to help you, Dad. This dog will be. I'm pressure's it's 35 on. Thirty-five pounds. Thirty-five. It's um. <laughs> oh, it's as fun as it is to adopt a puppy. Sometimes it's good to adopt an adult dog. It's for the same reason that um, this is sort of the adage in animal rescue. You wouldn't marry a 20-year-old because you don't know quite what you're going to get. <laughs> so you might not adopt a puppy if you're not quite certain, if you're not prepared for every eventuality. Okay. But um, uh, it's so fun to have a puppy, but there's so many adult dogs, and sometimes that's a better choice if, you're, if you have limited... Um, maybe already trained and those kinds of things. That yeah, have a hard definitely. Time Same, less soon. variable. You'll know. A you'll know the temperament. The you'll know the size. You'll know the, more oh, of the health. Oh. Oh. Although, <laughs> she's been so active all morning. <laughs> Although on the other hand, we have, my husband and I have a rescue dog, and we also have a breeder dog. And our rescue dog is a, a German Shepherd. And so mm -hmm. sometimes when you get big dogs, right. that can be a large responsibility in terms of dealing with other people coming on your property. Yeah. You really have to be aware that sometimes you may have to work with that dog on certain behavioral issues. That's a very good point about adopting a pure breed. Some people don't understand that you can go to a shelter or a pure breed uh, rescue organization and get the exact dog you always dreamed of. And yeah. you, it's very easy to research the temperament of German Shepherds and how to train them. Right. And so you can get anything you want and still adopt. Yeah, oh, that's a good yeah. point. How have you uh, noticed, uh, not your business, but your organization changing since the economy went downhill and right. things are... I guess in some places starting to pick up a little bit. Well, strangely enough, it's sort of, um, I guess they call it an inelastic good, but um, people, uh, I, I work also at doggy daycares and with sort of high-end grooming. Um, sort of no matter what, you ha you, a deal's a deal. You brought this dog into your life, and pretty much that sort of stuff hasn't really changed yet, but what has changed is how much people adopt. It's sort of become the hip option, as mm -hmm. they say down at Animal Haven. Um, so I think mm -hmm. we're just sort of more aware of utilizing resources that are already there, like unwanted shelter dogs. Um, but honestly, as far as dog care is concerned, um, people are working more and we're actually getting used more, you know, as a business. You know, and there have been so many reports and even just, you know, people that we know in terms of just a companion mm -hmm. and mental health is a, is a huge area where they're looking at the effect that dogs can have not only on um, certain types of illness, but mental illness too. Yeah, it's, it's actually, um, yeah, it's scientifically proven. It, it lowers heart rate, which, which um, benefits almost every aspect mm -hmm. of, sure. of uh, human health. Yeah. yeah. Um, How do you family, feel right now? Oh, <laughs> very, very calm. It's oh. so cozy. My family actually, um, we adopted a dog, but not from an animal shelter. We actually knew a family that couldn't take care of the dog mm -hmm. anymore. And um, we found that the dog had some health issues. But if people adopt from an animal shelter, that may be an issue that they don't come across. Well, right. so you, you know what? You, it's you don't great get the history to you, necessarily. Or you actually do. You're actually, if you adopt from a shelter, you're utilizing a resource of, of probably 16 animal experts in oh. one place that know the animal, uh, know all about dogs, and can give you a sort of a detailed history of what to expect. That's um, so you're really not sort of going in blind. You've got a team of people that work with dogs all day long and can really help you. And also, uh, throughout your dog's life, you can contact the shelter and get advice and get you know because they have an invested emotional. Oh, yeah. You know, in this dog, but they won't necessarily show share with you the dog's medical records, for example. If that well, dog they, they had just ever won't been treated for something right. because of confidentiality, or you won't know if it's a if it's a um, owner surrender. Sometimes you don't know, but depending on the shelter.
shelter, you know, um, you get as much um, information as you can. You go from there. Do and you try to really match a family or a person coming in looking for a dog with the dog that's there? I mean, you, you're well, not. I, is your goal to just get a dog a home or really find the dog the right home? Well, at a shelter, um, especially in a place like New York City where space is limited, I think shelters sometimes get a bad rap for being militant and, oh, you can't have a dog. But the fact of the matter is a no-kill shelter like Animal Haven, there's only so many crates for so many dogs. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure that the person taking the dog home isn't going to bring the dog back yeah. because uh, the shelter is um, obligated to take that dog back if you don't want it. So if all of a sudden 10 dogs come back and all your crates are full, that's quite a big problem. So, mm -hmm. And also, you know, it should be harder maybe to buy a dog. Maybe we should look at it that way rather than, you know, so adopting it should be a big um, responsibility for the person it should be well considered. What percentage of the time do people actually try to bring back the dogs that they adopt? Um, you know what? It's, uh, I don't think there is, I don't think you can set your watch by it. I think um, when the person is interviewed and uh, it seems like a good match, I think people try and do the best that they can. And I think it's, um, it's not a high percentage, honestly. Huh. Yeah. Do you what, find what, with the economy that there are more people in a situation where they have to give up their dog? Um, sometimes in the city, it's a lot to do with moving. Um, yeah, that's generally um, the reason people give up their dog is because they got a baby or because they're moving. Those are the two biggest reasons. And you can train your dogs to live with a baby. That's something Absolutely that we have to do with our you dogs, can. So. And you can work yeah. with your landlord yeah. to allow a dog as well. There's and a lot of rules. So yeah, I hear the music, but I do want to mention that our dog, actually, we brought it back to health. Mm -hmm. It had heartworm disease, and it was very easy to bring it back to health. Oh, and he's great for oh. the family, of course. Love and him. that is an important Love adoption to make. It keeps dogs out of shelters, so that was a good thing you did. Yes. Oh, Allie McLennan, thank you so much. Oh, my pleasure. Have a lot of blast. Really nice yeah. to have you. Potentially one home for this I week. I think so. Right? Yeah. Yeah. right, let's go. I don't think so she's going anywhere. Let's root to kill me, Zon. <laughs> uh, have a great day. Bye, everybody.